Hi, welcome. My name is Danny, and today I'm going to make a mixed media collage and talk to you about transparency. What does that mean? I'm going to talk about what it means to me as an artist and just in general as a human being. So just sit back and relax and enjoy the process. Welcome back. So today I want to talk about, well, this will be my second installment of the values series that I'm doing. Um, so I am exploring seven of my most precious values um, through the lens of mixed media. And um, I did a video where I kind of explained what um, inclusivity means to me and how that translates into my creative practice. And for this um, little session, I am going to talk about transparency. And what, what does that even mean? What does that mean to me? And what, what is that as it relates to values? What kind of value is that? Obviously, Dolly is very interested in this one. <laughs> okay, baby. Baby girl. Come here. Come over here. Here, you want to sit over here? Oh, my goodness. Oh, all right. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. You're precious. Okay, well, while Dolly is laying here, um, so the materials that I brought today, um, it's kind of, uh, <laughs> um, I guess somewhat related to the concept of transparency as I see it, but um, I, it's more, it started off as more of a play on words. And um, when I was, don't chew on that, baby. The material that I brought is um, transparent, especially when it's wet. Now, uh, if you follow my other videos, you'll likely catch me talking about how much I love working with tissue paper um, or just like thin paper material, like napkins and things like that, because I love how when um, they get wet, they are somewhat transparent. So, um, you know, if I were to place this piece of tissue paper down on top of this, um, you would be able to see what's beneath it. And I love that um, sense of, of layering and depth, which is interesting to think about as it relates to what how I view um, transparency as a value, but um, what I've brought here is mostly tissue paper. So I've got tissue paper. These, is, these are just collected over the years from various gift bags. Same with this. So this is my tissue paper. And then this is actually, I, I think I found this at a thrift store. Um, it's uh, like sandwich paper. It's like wax paper that you wrap sandwiches up in, and I thought that pattern was super cute, so um, I knew that I would use it for collage. <laughs> Not for sandwiches, but that's okay. And then these special little pieces here are um, from, a pro from another project that I did, and I will place a link to it in the description below. Um, I animated a music video for my husband's solo project. My husband is a musician and his project name is La Pore. And he wrote a song about our life at home. Um, and it spoke to a lot of the things that I think about in my creative practice. So I, in response to the music video, or in response to the 
song, I created a music video using stop motion animation. And I had these animated characters um, on in the video. And so it was just like a flat stage with the camera facing down on the stage. And um, it was a, an image of our apartment and these characters would come and go through the apartment, but they were line drawings like you see here. And so for every frame or every, you know, movement of the characters, there was a different, um, one of these tissue paper drawings, right? And then that would, they would just, you know, move across the stage. So I literally have thousands of these. I have thousands of these, so many, but I kept them because obviously, as you know, <laughs> I hang on to everything and I use it for something and especially something as special as this. I mean, these are these are pretty cool. Um now I do um for transparency's sake, uh I will explain why they look a little wet, like they have been water damaged a little bit. Um now I'm not upset by this. But one day my husband was watering the plants and these were in an envelope on a shelf underneath a plant and um, some water dripped out of the watering can and uh, dripped onto the, um, the envelope and onto a few other things. But you know what? I ain't mad at it because it looks kind of cool. At least there's um, a, a graphite drawing and then the the blood ink just sort of adds this interesting effect. So I actually, I think it's a totally happy accident. I love it. So anyway, um, I guess that brings me to, and that's it, that's all the materials I brought. So I'm just gonna get started and start talking about, um, you know, what it means to be transparent. So, you know, um, as a value, transparency to me, now I think, for a lot of people, it could mean a lot of different things. For me personally, it, uh, it shows up in my life as just honesty. That's probably true for a lot of people, but um, it's just honesty to me. Honesty and authenticity, you know? Um, I feel like for example, me sharing that story with you about um, the materials, about those illustrations, um, was kind of an example of me being transparent with you. And I think that being upfront and honest about things um, builds trust it it makes you feel like you really know a person or I mean it not just makes you feel like but you, you actually really do get to know that person and you form a relationship and um, whatever that relationship looks like it's more meaningful when uh, you know you're just upfront and honest with somebody about how you're feeling about something maybe what kinds of difficulties you faced. Sometimes on my Instagram account, uh, or uh, definitely in my newsletter, if you um, are signed up to receive letters from me, I sort of talk about um, life and... Uh, it's not always, um, well, life and, and art. And uh, it's it can be a little um, candid, you know? I like to give you the full picture, the full human picture. I'm excited to see how this is gonna look after it's... Um, once it gets layered, we'll start to see how things have depth. 
Oh yeah, and that's another thing too, when you're transparent, you, it's like interesting that word and, and um, how it creates meaning to um, us like being transparent with each other. It's like you're seeing through some kind of uh, exterior surface and um, getting a glimpse into what's beneath the surface and in as a result um, finding depth in a person. This is gonna be a real simple one, I think, which is okay. I That's another value I'm going to explore later on in this series, um, is simplicity, and that is something, and I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna be transparent with you right now. Simplicity is something I really struggle with. I mean, I value it a lot, I, I really do. I think it's so valuable, it's so, but it is, it's something that I contend with often it's a, a struggle for me um i like to overcomplicate my artwork and honestly that is true for my life too you know just um when i'm telling stories when i'm trying to explain something to somebody when i need help when somebody asks me a simple question and i aim to answer it, but I just feel the need to include everything that's going on in my brain um, as it relates to whatever we're talking about. And um, it's a struggle. So I'm going to try to keep it simple this time. I'm gonna do one more of these pieces and then I'm gonna start adding my little characters on top before it gets out of hand. You know what I'm saying? Right, Dahlia? Oh, is this a sign? Are you trying to tell me something? Are you saying, don't go any further? You're done. <laughs> okay, wait, let me just see how this looks. I won't put it down yet, but we'll just we'll try it out for a second. Okay, so I know I wanted to have him right here. Interesting. I don't want to place him down yet because it's still wet here. Um, I know I kind of had this set up how I was thinking earlier before Dolly came and just wrecked the whole thing. <laughs> Hmm. So what's interest what I need to be careful of with these is these pieces is that um the marker ink that I used is um water soluble as you can sell you water soluble water soluble oh my god I, you know what i'm trying to say it dissolves in water <laughs> and um so i cannot use um watered down glue that like i usually use with the brush so i think i'm going to actually grab a glue stick when i go to put these down so that um It, uh, it doesn't become more bled than it already is. 
And then we got the little, little kitty cat right here. Like, that's you, Dahlia. I like it going off of the yellow there. Now what does this look like without this little checkerboard back here? Hmm. What if the checkerboard's coming from the top? Oh, I like that. Kind of connects it up to the Yeah, I like how this is all lining up right now. Oh, you're being so sweet. I don't think I have any videos on here that you are just like chilling on the sidelines the entire time. This is so sweet. Thank you for joining us, Dahlia. It's such a pleasure to have you. Okay, I'm gonna go grab my glue stick. I'll be right back. Don't you go anywhere. I wish I could like, I don't know, I'm just gonna have to remember how I had this. Okay. That's pretty interesting actually, just by itself, isn't it? Hmm. It's interesting how in this, uh, where I'm um, using this time to talk to you about transparency and what it means to me and as a value, um, you know, it pretty much is like, to sum it up, it's like honesty, authenticity, and um, sharing, sharing like the wholeness, the humanness of my, of me. <laughs> and, uh, and you know, um, being open to the humanness of you, I, I would I love for you to share your thoughts with me and um, your responses to anything that I talk about here. But um, this in this piece that I'm creating during this time, um, it's these these um, little characters. You know, it's. Um, They come from a project in which I I really, and I feel like this with a lot of my work too, but I really felt like I was sharing my life with people. Like this is, this is my life. This is my everyday life. I'm, I'm opening it up to you. And then it was these little people. And they were their legs were cut off a little bit. I want his head to be split a little bit. There, like that. Right there. This glue stick is not working as well as I thought it would. Another moment of honesty. Here, let me just try. Maybe if I just limit the amount of water I, I mix with the glue, maybe this will just, maybe this will work out. Okay. Okay, it's not smearing so far. Maybe we'll be okay. That's not bad, that's fine, that, okay. Maybe I'll just put this glue stick aside because it's just a little too messy, too gunky.
Okay, and then it was this. Now I remember this head was just poking up where where this white space is, like the this collarbone was lining up right with our collarbone, just the collar was <laughs> lining up with the top of the blue, the blue area. And I think that's right. What do you think? Am I right, Dahlia? Yeah? I would definitely encourage you to check out the music video that these characters appear in. I'm going to link it in the description below, but it's called Love Song. And it's very special. this up, no, bring it down, bring it down, I think, I love that, I love how her little feet are in the yellow now, okay, hmm, another way to think about transparency too as it relates to life and art is you know I mean it's it's um it's about what's whatever's on the surface um revealing what's beneath right um so giving you know providing a glimpse into what's under the surface what's beneath but then it is also um, what's beneath changes what's above. So whatever is going on underneath changes the way we see the surface. For example, I mean, I'm, th I'm thinking about that as I'm putting these pieces down, you know, I'm like, well, I know that this head was behind or was over, over top of the white space and then you know, um, I was just commenting on how this character's feet here are in the yellow, and I like that. And so it's like the, um, what's underneath this piece changes the way we perceive the top piece. What's beneath changes our perception of what's above. And I think you could say that for um, people too, right? When we know someone's story, when they're transparent and authentic and honest and they share more of themselves with us, we see them differently. Oh, I'm not done. The final touch. Here we go. Please don't bleed all over the place. Oh God, that sounds kind of morbid, doesn't it? Okay, I think you're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. Cute. All right. Hmm. Oh, I think, I think Dahlia's got the right idea. It's nap time. It's sort of, um, ethereal. It's like wispy, ghost-like. It's all these layers. It reminds, makes me think of time. I don't know. Anyway. So this is done and it will be available on my website, uh, calicoflowerstudio.com. Um, if you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe to my channel and you won't miss a thing. 
Um, please comment if you have any thoughts on what it means to be transparent. Maybe you're an artist or a teacher or, you know, just a human in this world. <laughs> How has it served you to be honest and authentic and transparent with those around you? Let me know. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I... I do hope that you enjoyed this. My love goes out to you. And thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time.